Hey everyone, Adam and Andrew with It Takes Two Takes. Yet again, watching an episode of a Marvel show. This one, I always want to say Captain Falcon in the Winter Soldier because it's an, like you know, a Nintendo thing, but no, it's the Falcon in the Winter Soldier. Episode two, we've only got six of these, Adam. We watched the first one last week, of course. It was up on our channel. And uh, if you check that out, awesome. If not, please do. And if you like that, you like movie reviews, all that good stuff, subscribe. Give us a like so we know you like what you're seeing. All that good stuff. Uh, you know, no fees with your subscription, no hidden fees, blah, blah, blah. Was that a good plug, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, we're good. I think last week's episode was, uh, was you know, a good kickoff. You know, some action in the beginning to kind of get your adrenaline pump in. Awesome action. And then it was just very sobering. Good, but sobering. Almost the opposite of this channel based on my lead in. It was just a very sobering opening. Like, subscribe. <laughs> and then now we're going to get to the good stuff, right? It's what you came here for. As usual, we give our little intro. We're going to watch this. We're going to do a little reaction. And then afterwards, we're going to give a few thoughts. And I know people like to bail at that point. But we have thoughts. And, you know, it, we, we just want to get discussion going. So if you, if you have anything that you want to comment on please do because we will write back we only have like what under 200 subscribers what else we have going on clearly nothing so right chime in yeah let's go ahead and uh, get started on this uh video yes erotic or slow -mo was this done by zach schneider it's a, yeah he's actually zipping it like faster than you would imagine but it's in a hurry running oh this is that guy i could tell by his dopey face this is that not my cap Right, Captain America. Now I know there are a number of different Captain Americas that took over that mantle, right? Um, in the comics, and I don't know all their names Even or their stories. Movies. I just know that's a thing. Winter Soldier was one of them. I that's true. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Nice transition. Does that Captain America action figure have an underbite? Right. He's a man playing cosplay. I guess we're trying to start to feel sympathetic for him based on where they're heading with the storyline. We'll see. I got big shoes to fill. Did you know Steve Rogers? Oh, Bucky's not happy. We're watching a reaction video of Bucky right now. It's kind of cool. What big three? The big three. What big three? Androids, aliens, and wizards. That's not a thing. That, that's definitely a thing. No, it's not. <laughs> Every time we fight, we fight one of the three. So who are you fighting now, Gandalf? Every how do you know about Gandalf? I read The Hobbit. I'm coming with you. No, you're not. <laughs> I need more of that. We only yeah, have no. five more episodes, basically. I don't need it anyway. <laughs> He's going to jump out. No! What do you really screamed like that? Oh, yeah, there we go. I, w I would probably groan at least. What was the purpose of ripping his sleeve off then? That on camera. You know that, right? <laughs> Dude, that drone would make parenting a whole lot easier for me. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I'd throw the kids in the backyard and be like, I saw that. As I'm like <laughs> doing reaction videos and drinking bourbon. We're not assassins. I'll see you inside. Or not. Hey, come on, man. I'm just messing with you. Come back. <laughs> They really do have a great, like, buddy cop personality duo. For sure. Stealthy. Little time in Wakanda and you come out White Panther. It's actually White Wolf. That's true. That is what they called him, like the White Wolf. White Wolf. That's not a good smile. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, Flag Smashers. Well, this could be a fun fight between the two teams. Yeah. Tracks. Oh, and the new Captain America shows up. Oh. Damn, he is good with that shield, though. Yeah. Despite not having any abilities or... He's going to have to die, because I'm, I'm figuring that, you know, for Sam to get the shield back. Ugh. It's very uh straightforward, his combat style with the shield. You just handed him back uh, the shield. He hated doing that. Yeah, you could tell. That was a good shot. Ugh. These uh, people are stronger than normal people, Ooh. so they got some sort of special serum themselves. Yeah, it, it could be some sort of connection to, to Hydra. I know that they're still out there in the... 
Come on, White Panther. White Wolf. I know. You. <laughs> oh, you're done for. Yep. You're by yourself in a fight. Ugh. What? Where did that car come from? Right. Like, who's just tailing that those semis during all this? I'm Battlestar, John Spiker. Battlestar? Stop the car! <laughs> I, I get it. There is someone that you should be. That's hmm. om ominous, you know? Yeah. Okay. In Baltimore, Maryland, no doubt. Okay. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Hmm. You know what they did? Damn. The reason they showed that guy's body up till now. That guy's ripped. Though. Got some unfinished business, him and I. You too, Wilson. I'll be outside. I kind of want to punch him in the face. Condition of your release session now. I'm just saying. You too, Sam. His, his, no, it's okay. I'll be out here with him. That wasn't a request. His personality just screams, I want to punch him in the face. So, who wants to go first? <laughs> it's couples counseling. No mm -hmm. volunteers. We're going to do an exercise. It's something I use with couples when they are trying to <laughs> figure out. There you go. What Thank you for the love. This. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, right, around, around, right up your alley. Yeah, you, should, <laughs> you should really <laughs> enjoy this. I'm going to. I know you are. Yeah. Sam, face each other. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's stare. Get close. You know what? Fine. Here. Oh, you have scissors. Out. All right. right. Yeah. Good. We're locked That's in. That's fine. It's a little close. Wait. What are you doing? Are you having a staring contest? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is something you or Steve will never understand. But can you accept that I did what I thought was right? Have a conversation instead of having plot armor of not understanding one another and sharing things. Well, there are hundreds of those all over the planet since the blip, so I guess you'll have to look real hard. Good thing I got 20-20 vision then, huh? Where's she now, Walker? Do you know? No, we don't know, Bucky. <laughs> Hell of a power. Actually, I am it's jealous. a matter of time before we find out. Things are a word of advice, then. Stay the hell out of my way. Yep. I totally want to punch him. I feel like he's a somewhat complex character because as much as he is punchable, obj objectively punchable, as an actor and human being, I'm sure in real life, I'm just going to go inside and say it. I think he's a product of something else. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think this is all his action. I think he's just kind of going with whatever is being told to him. Well, he's a career soldier. Thrust it upon right. him to be Right, and I think he's reporting the, the wrong person at this point. Question, why didn't you do that sooner with, I don't know, more than one telephone pole? Yeah, yeah. Was the plan like, don't worry, when they show up, I'm going to push a telephone pole over. You couldn't have just thrown some spikes in the road or something? And then I'm going to get my ass kicked because, you know, the bad well, I don't guy... know if this guy will. This guy's got to make a statement to the viewers. Well, he's leaving the others to get away, which means he's a sacrifice. He's still going to do some damage. Oh, yeah. Her worried face. You're right. Yeah. That's he's it? Not, he's not bulletproof. Yeah. That was already proven on the fight on top of the truck, is they are not bulletproof. They may be strong and fast, they're not bulletproof. I mean, he could have just pushed the telephone pull over and ran away. I mean, would it have stopped them any less? Like, No, he meant Hydra. Hydra used to be my people. <sighs> not a mm -hmm. chance. Walker doesn't have any leads. Mm -hmm. I know where you're going with this, and no. He knows all of Hydra's secrets. Don't you remember Siberia? Okay, then. We're gonna go see Zemo. Zemo! Oh. Because he's been, he was, you know, he had the gun, to, he was about to commit suicide, and uh, Black Panther basically talked him out of it, and I assume he's been in prison since right. uh, Winter Soldier. Right. Well, Civil War. Mm-hmm. Wait. Who was he? When was he in Civil War? He was the antagonist in Civil War. 
Winter oh, you're Soldier right. Okay. Was Robert Redford. You're right. You're right. You're right. Damn it! I missed the part with Zemo. <laughs> I mean, I saw him, but right. Uh you apparently. So he's just sitting get... in prison anyway. Right. You apparently need to get your movies straight about your MCU. MCU uh, movies. yeah. You're right. Here's my. You know, it's called. It takes two takes for a reason. Oh my God, dude, Zemo. He was in Captain America's <laughs> Civil War. Good episode. Yeah, got a little bit more action. We saw uh, the new Captain America in action. Uh, apparently pretty good with the shield. They did about as good of a job as they could to get us to understand where he's coming from, yet they're clearly not really pushing us to absolutely like this dude. Right. Um, but the, it gives them a little context, a little or perspective to at least... Or his yeah, oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. There are plenty of scenes where they really make you as a viewer be like, all right, fuck that guy. But at the same time... <laughs> You get that he's kind of an, I mean, he's a, he's a patriot. He's a guy that is worked his ass off to serve this country, well, but at the same time, he's not Steve Rogers. I mean, that that's the bottom line. We get that's a, that's what we're all trying to grapple with. That's what the people around him are trying to grapple with. And I again, I would go back to the fact, that especially after seeing Zemo pop up at the end, there he is doing what he's told. He's a soldier. He is doing what is asked of him, and I don't think he's getting orders from the right person at the same time i think he's getting a little bit of an ego because of of being captain america and get all of these accolades right for not really have done anything yet as far as as right. captain america you know he's clearly at the beginning we see him hesitant but now we see him a little bit almost over cocky and drunk in power so i'm wondering since they've introduced that the Winter Soldier, Super Soldier formula is apparently still out there. We we saw in a trailer that we saw that Sam eventually at some point in the series starts practicing throwing the shield. We saw that mm -hmm. in one of the trailers. I'm just wondering if they're going to go full cap on him um, and try and make him somewhat of a super soldier. Or if, you know, they're going to leave him just as Falcon with a shield. So I've got some questions about where the next four episodes are going to go. The only large two sort of plot points from this episode, the significant plot points from this episode to me were these, this Isaiah. This guy was, what, in his 70s? Maybe 80s and ripped? Okay. And number two for me is obviously Zemo. Like, he's a, he always was an interesting character to me. And the idea that he will be possibly involved in this series, uh, that intrigues me because he's, you know, he's sort of a, you know, yes, he's a terrorist, but he has a very understandable motive that his family was killed and he they were sort of this collateral damage of what the avengers were doing to ultimately save the world but it's 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 such an interesting well you, uh, also, you, you don't just have that you also have the fact that he when given when he went to the lab of the super soldiers of the winter soldiers you know he didn't he just shot him right uh he didn't try to uh, make himself a super soldier. He wasn't trying to do, you know, release that information out uh, to everybody. He was just simply looking to, um, you know, stop any more winter soldiers is basically it. Well, at the same time as antagonizing all the Avengers, he absolutely is a interesting character because in civil war, when everyone thought, Oh, he's going to activate all these other winter soldiers. No, he's not. He's going to blow them all in the head and then set you guys up to uh, fight each other. So that also makes me question whether or not he's going to give them good information or not. Because basically, we're still talking about a former Avenger and the Winter Soldier, right? So... I wonder if Zemo isn't going to play some mind games at the same time based on his history from Civil War. I, you know, I'm, I'm definitely intrigued to see where it goes. I love the buddy cop relationship that those two have, right? The back and yes. forth banter um, is just absolutely amazing. I love that back and forth. I think that's great. I, I want more of that. Just give me plenty of action and more of that. And I'm, I'm happy. You're such an 80s child, Adam, and I can appreciate it as well, nonetheless. But um, I will say my only final thought, I, I'm just going to put a question out there to you, 
because we didn't we didn't talk about in the first uh, episode that we did reaction and review and everything like that. Um, there's gonna be a card above my head if I choose to keep this when I edit it. Uh, my question to you is this: Steve Rogers, the original Captain America. For all we know, he's still alive. Right? Will he make an appearance as a senior citizen? No. Or, okay. I'm just. I, I wanted to get your prediction. I think Chris Evans knows that if he dips his foot back in even for this series as an old Captain America, that there's an expectation that, oh, maybe he'll show back up in something else. Not so, even at an Easter egg level, nothing? If they if they do a complete CGI by taking some extra stuff they had cut from somewhere else where you see him in the background as an extra character kind of looking on type of deal. Um, yeah, okay. That would be uh, about... Yeah. That's that, not what I'm asking, but I know what you're that, saying. Th that would be about it. I don't see... And, you know, Chris Evans could be doing lots of misdirection by indicating that he is absolutely, you know, done. Maybe he's doing misdirection because they want to keep it as a as a surprise. But, you know, for all intents and purposes, everything that Evans has indicated is he is done. And I could see where him even dipping his toe back in for a cameo opens up a whole lot of people going, ah, you said you're done, but you're not. Maybe you'll be in more stuff. And so I feel like he needs to, if he, if he's cut the cord, he needs to just have kept the cord cut. There's got to be some sort of a cameo or something that's going to surprise us in these next four episodes. If you were to wager on who that would be, who would you predict? Who would you guess? I don't know. Maybe a Martin Freeman to kind of help set up Loki. Mm -hmm. I could see that almost, you know, I mean, that's the next series we're going to get this summer. So and Martin Freeman obviously is tied to Civil War with uh, Zemo as well. By the way, they did make a Hobbit reference. I'm just saying it's it all could come full circle. It's right. just, uh, I think Hawkeye is the most logical potential cameo. All right. He's you the most say, grounded. He fits in with that group. I, say, I could see him showing up. Hawka, Hawkeye, I say Martin Freeman. If you've got guesses or theories or anything like that, leave some comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Get the word out. We're... We want this channel to grow and uh, we could use your help doing that if you're up to it. And if not, uh, we'll see you next video anyway. Uh, with, this is Adam and Andrew with It Takes Two Takes.